No one here, huh? Damn. Where did she go? Then suddenly the world shifted. For just an instant, I was somewhere else entirely. My mind reeled, and then just as I'd begun to adjust, it was gone. As if nothing had happened. What, what was that? It was the same sensation I'd felt when I saw the vision of the bombs explosion, exploding. Had it been a premonition? This is bad. I need to find Alice now. Where could she be? Damn it, Alice, where are you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it has to be it. Set off at a dead run. into the crew hallway and made straight for the door to the number two room. Now I should be in here. I swaddled and threw open the door. Alice? So you're here. I spoke her eyes turned toward mine but I didn't get the feeling that they were looking at me. Her skin was pale and sickly and one of her hands held the scalpel like a cutter in the but awesome. What are you doing here? It's okay. I'm just here to help you. Help me? What do you mean? Just let go of that scalp. No. I need it to get this bracelet off. Hmm? Remember what Zero Jr. told us? The bracelet comes off when your heart stops. So I just have to... Stop! Before I even finished the word, I was running. I grabbed both her arms and wrenched them back, pulling the blade away from her chest. No! Let me go! I have to do this! I can't take it anymore! This whole thing is like a nightmare I can't wake up from! The only way I'm going to get out of here is to die! Knock it off! With a grunt, I tore the scalpel from her hands. It was a second before I felt a burning pain in my left hand. I had apparently cut myself getting the damn thing away from her. Very quickly it progressed from a dull throbbing to a hot line of pain across my palm. I clenched my teeth and squeezed my hand tight. I was so focused on my pain that I barely heard Alice collapse. She didn't respond when I shook her. Hey, are you alright? Alice, say something. There was a moment of terror before I realized she was still breathing. I didn't know why, but it seemed she'd only passed out. Shit, what am I supposed to do now? Oh man, maybe the infirmary? It's got all those medical things. Bowed by adrenaline, I have to lost his body and took off toward the infirmary. Alright, please pay attention, everyone. You need to hear this. Everything's coming up Sigma, huh? What a lucky, lucky man you are. You two are gonna be playing against Clover. If she doesn't vote, then she'll default to Ally. That means if she stays here, the two of you are gonna be sitting pretty. Especially you, Sigma. After all, you've got six BP right now. I'm saying I'm gonna choose a tray. If you do, you'll get what you need to escape. You bastard. There's no way I do Is that. Is that so? 
Yes, it is so. For one, I'm not the only one making this decision. Luna's my partner, and she'll be in the baby room with me. You really think she'd just stand by and let me do something like that? Back me up here, Luna. Um, well, actually, I was planning to let you make the decision. See? Told you. You can lie to us if you want, but you can't lie to yourself. Shut up. Um... What? If I might make a suggestion, what if Sigma and Luna both remained here? Should all three of you abstain, then you would all be guaranteed to ally, correct? Nope, doesn't work like that. Why not? Here, take a look at this. Pull the scrap of paper we found out of my pocket. Huh? What's this? We found it when we went to the archives. There wasn't anything like this in the pantry. Nothing in the garden, either. Hmm. Yes, they only put one in the archives. Whatever. I'll just read it for you. Here are some more AB game rules for you. Not voting is not an option. If both parties are free to vote, then everybody gets penalized. In other words, one person out of every color group of three has to vote. Get it? The whole team can't abstain. That means either Dio or Tenmyoji is going to have to vote then. And they're playing against Alice. Oh. I guess playing against is a little generous. So Alice is guaranteed to vote ally, which means that if Dio picks Betray... Then knock it off. You trying to get back at me for what I said earlier? No way am I going to choose Betray. You do know her BP's at one, right? What do you think would happen to her if I did that? Anyone whose BP drops to zero gets penalized. Just like when you break the rules. I want to put it past you. What? Cool it, boys. Don't worry. I'm going to be in that room, too. I'd planned to stay here with Quark, just to make sure he was safe. But it doesn't look like I'm gonna have that luxury. I can't trust Dio to make a decision for all three of us. That means we're gonna be sharing a room, bucko. I've got my eye on you. Happy now, Sigma? Yeah, thanks, that's really Exactly. Oh man, everybody's against me. Whatever shall I do? Can't be too careful. I wouldn't want to see Alice killed by an unfortunate accident. What do you mean, accident? Oh! Tenmyoji, before we went into the CDs, you told Alice there was something you wanted to tell her. Um, what was it? Huh? Oh, that, uh... Well, I mean... Look, it wasn't important. Just forget about it. Five minutes remain until Ambidex game polling closes. Time's running out, people. Clover and I will stay here and keep an eye on Alice and Quark. Everyone else needs to go. What? You're staying too? Yeah. If something does happen, Clover might need a hand. Aren't you a solo? You're playing against King Quark, but with Quark out, that means K would get to decide this whole round. Are you saying that you trust me? Yes. Even though I have six BP? Yes. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Are you nuts? What happens when he gets nine BP? I'm not worried. Kay won't betray me. How can you know that? I just know, I guess. You just know? What the fuck is wrong with you? Something happened between Phi and Kay while they were out exploring? I understand. I can hardly betray trust like that, can I? I will vote for our team. Good. We're counting on you. <sighs> I've had enough of this bullshit. Four minutes remain until Ambidex game polling closes. Come on! We need to hurry! <laughs> Alright, you kids. Take care of those two, okay? Of course. We promise. That we're off. 
gave one last quick nod to Fly and Clover before heading back for the warehouse at a dead run. Everybody ready? Hello? I'm going to open my AB gate. Although I guess that doesn't really matter. You already opened one earlier. Then only you and I remain. Right. Okay. Let's go. Two more AB gates set open. We all shared one last look at each other before ducking into our respective rooms. This game will now begin. To enter your vote, please touch the start button on your screen. Once you have entered your vote, the door will lock automatically. It will not open again until the polling period is finished. Two minutes remain until Ambidex game polling closes. What are you going to do? I mean, how are you going to vote? No question. If Clover isn't voting, then she's defaulting to ally. Betraying someone who isn't even playing hardly seems fair. Of course, I think so too. I'm just glad to hear you say it. His face broke into a warm, happy smile. Not to be sappy, but it was like a ray of sunshine on a cloudy day. I grinned back at her before I knew what I was doing. For a minute, the Nordic game didn't seem so scary. Then she spoke. Sigma? What's wrong with your hand? Huh? There's something white on it. There's what? What? What the hell is this? The first time since I'd found Alice in the crew quarters, I looked down at my hand. Across the palm was some sort of strange white liquid. For a moment, I thought I'd somehow touch some white paint or something similar. But the truth was far stranger. The liquid was coming from my hat. It was coming from the cut I'd given myself when I grabbed the scalpel away from Alice. But why? Where was the blood? I felt a very odd sort of fear begin to wrap its hand around my throat. Quickly, I held my palm against my chest. I shouldn't have let Luna see that. Are you alright? Yeah, it's nothing. I went to the pantry while I was looking for Alice. There was some milk and I spilled it. It sounded even stupider as I said it. Really? Yeah. But... Just shut up. It's fine, alright? Fine, leave me alone. I regretted the worst the moment they were out of my mouth. Something was wrong, very wrong. My head was spinning. Sigma. Oh man, I'm so sorry. I just, it's. Just don't worry about it, okay? Thirty seconds remain until polling closes. There was no time left. I had to vote. I turned and faced the machine. I took a few deep breaths, but the chaos in my mind refused to calm itself. Calm down, just calm down. I need to think about the AB game right now. Just forget about your hand. Who was I kidding? There was no way I could forget about something like that. Ten seconds remain. Until Ambidex game polling closes. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. 